Okay. Peace, love, and light to the nation. Hold on. Praise on our Lord. Truth. All praises to the Father who sits in heaven, man. Uh, just want to uh, just pretty much get back, get the spirit back alive, and uh, put everything back. Uh, so peace, love, and light to y'all. Praise the Most High, continuing to shine His marvelous light upon you, and uh, sharing His ruach with you, and uh, putting you in the spirit. Rinse it off. Of his word and spirit, and his truth. you know, just trying to stay in line with the Ruah Kakadesh. Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Shalom, shalom. So, uh, just trying to get back on track to where I was and re elaborating on, uh, just you know, the five senses or how many senses there are. And, um, uh, what, what are the senses? How many senses are there? Sins are attached to those senses. So that's my question for the day. Shalom, shalom, peace, love, and light. See what it do. So what are the senses? How many senses are there? And what sins are they attached to? And so by me meditating on this and elaborating on this, um, shalom, shalom, I come to five. Some very interesting um, dialogue that I came across. So uh, before I jumped off the first slide, I was elaborating on the story about Elisha and Naaman and, and the, his uh, Elisha servant Gehazi. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get into that. I, I'm gonna get into how many senses are there, because when I read, I read something different. But um, yo, shalom, shalom. So I was elaborating on, you know. Uh, First, I want to say this, that these senses, each sense have a sin attached to it. And we got to be aware of putting these sins under subjection to righteousness. So then by us putting these sins under subjection to righteousness, we are basically checking our senses and making sure that each sense that we have is not under subjection to sin. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to in order for us to um in order for us to be able to put these sins under subjection, we have to check our senses. Like are our senses connected to sin or are our senses connected to a high vibration that causes us to move that, that, that causes us to be removed from the sin. So I use that um I use that I use that to say, I use the, um, nah, because it's, it's, it's really on my chart. Because nah, it's, it's, it's really on my chart. Okay. I use the um, um, story about Elisha and the sense that he was the sense that he wasn't a okay so i use the analogy about elisha and his, uh naam and him purging the uh leprosy from naam or the most high bestowing the power for him to be able to uh give the uh, instructions on how naam should purge the leprosy right so as that process took place elisha was telling him go wash in the jordan seven times go wash in the jordan seven times right so he washed in the Jordan seven times. At first, he was pretty much not with, not with going through that process, and he was just like, "Man, look, it's better for me, not to be watching, for me to wash in here. Like, why should I go to this nasty river Jordan?" You know what I'm saying? Because his expectations of being purged from the leprosy was that a man, how how we do now, come and lay hands on me and pray over me and do this and do that. You can read that in the book of Second uh, Kings, the fifth chapter. You know what I'm saying? You read that in the book of Second Kings, the fifth chapter, it'll go through the whole breakdown. But see, we need these scenarios to take place so we can understand how to operate just in case we may have been in this situation, you know, to show where uh, righteousness resides or show how the law is implemented and how sin is put under subjection to the law. So when, when Naomi washed in the river, washed in the Jordan seven times, the leprosy was purged. Then Naomi took unto himself and said, look, can I bless you, Elisha? But Elisha answered him and he was like, nah, 
you can't you can't give me a reward from the father because the father blessed him you know what i'm saying you can't pay me for what the father did. that's basically all you shop saying look you can't pay me for what you what is done so he he was trying to beat him to man just please take this i want to bless you no the blessing is from the father you cannot bless me for the father's work so naomi you know what i'm saying and that, said okay and he went on about his way. So as he was going on about his way, his servant Gehazi despised the fact that look, man, he was gonna give he was gonna give ramen, he was gonna give uh, silver, gold, and cattle. And he was like, man, look, he despised that. So that lets me know that he was taken about with the spirit of covetedness because he was desiring material things. So this is a spirit of lust as well. Lust is not just a spirit of desiring a woman and wanting to have a woman. Lust can also go for you desiring anything that you see, you lusting after material things. So that's a form of lust too. So what what sense, what sense was used for him or what sense did he not put under subjection? The sense of sight or the sense of seeing and the sense of feeling you know what I'm saying? That was the sense that he did not put under subjection. It's all good, sis. It's all good. Uh, that was the sense that he wasn't able to put under subjection, which caused him to go fall into a sin of what? Covetedness. So what did he do? What did Naomi do? Not Naomi, but what did Gehazi do? Gehazi went behind Elisha back and went to Naomi and said, look, it's people out here who need this, who need these, uh, who need this, uh, what who need this material that you was uh, trying to give? Who need these blessings? Can you go ahead and give? And, and Gehazi lied and said Elisha had sent him, and he didn't. So he also fell into a he fell into more sin when he fell into the sin of covetousness. So again, for those who chiming in, I'm basically going over what are the senses, how many senses are there, and what sins are attached to these senses. And we know by recognizing that Gehazi was uh had a covetous spirit on him and he fell into that sin. You see what I'm saying? He fell into that sin of covetousness. So with that being said, we're going to read Ecclesiastes and actually break down these senses and what these senses are for and why the Most High designed these senses for us to be able to uh, put under subjection. One thing that I, Shabbat Shalom, peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Uh, praise, harmony. Um, one thing that I realized is that when we are tempted, we are tempted through our senses because the Most High designed us to have these senses, but he gave us instructions on how to do it. See, think about it like this. When you sin, think about each commandment. Think about each commandment, each of the Ten Commandments. When you sin, what sense is it attached to? When you sin, what sense is it attached to? Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, let's do Thou shalt not, thou shalt not kill, or thou shalt not steal, right? So killing is attached to the sense of a feeling, feel, to feel. You can feel several different ways. See, these, these senses have portals. You can feel several different ways. Anger, emotion. Anger is an emotion, but you can feel anger. You can feel happiness. You can feel you can feel maliciousness. You can feel hate. You can feel you can feel love. You can feel joy. You can feel no, you ain't. But I'm just saying that there, but that each uh, sense has portals, has different portals. You know what I'm saying? You can see something and lust after it, or you can see it and hate it, or you can see it and be like, it's funny. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. It just depends on what you're seeing, or it depends on what you're feeling, or it depends on what you're hearing. You can hear something and be moved with a sexual emotion, or you can hear something and be moved with an emotion of anger, depending on what type of music you listen to, or depending on what type of movie show you're watching. You cried off of movies. I think in comparison to that, you keep Right. That, but I was going into the portals of feelings with the sense. Killing is. Go, have you go into a, a sense of a feeling. You have to feel some type of way to kill somebody. But I was just talking about the different portals of feelings. 
you know what I'm saying, and in different portals of what you can see, or the different portals when you get into uh, taste, you know what I'm saying, it's different levels to it, kind of. So, with that being said, do you, well, never mind, it's all good. Hey, I, Desire, jump on with me, I want you to read for me, y'all. I want you to read something for me. I'm reading out of the Apocrypha. I want you to jump on and read. I want you to jump on and read for me, y'all. <laughs> you want to do it. Toriano, jump on and read for me, y'all. If any one of my eyes can jump on and read for me, I, I, I highly appreciate that. All right, Kamar gonna do it. See, he, he come on, man. Somebody jump on the reefer. All right, but anyway, hold on, request. All right, come on, Toriano. Hey, get up here and lay down. Read for me, Yaki. I got you. Peace, love, and light to you. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's all good. You had sent the request out, but it's all good. So let yeah, let's just let's get back in the spirit real quick though. Uh, so, uh, peace, love, and light to you, Ak. I'm in Ecclesiasticus chapter 17. All right, I'm there. So, yeah. So, um, with these senses, we're gonna we're gonna see what what the Most High, the order, or what the Most High desire from us, right? He desires something from us. But see, this, like I was saying, like um. These senses are attached to sin, but they are more prominent in temptations than Hashitanis. The senses are. See, this is why we say we are our own worst enemy, because we fall into the desires that come with these senses. Either we put them under subjection of right, of right ruling, or we put them under subjection of law, Understand how to deal with them, or we give in to them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Either we're gonna put them under subjection, or we're gonna give in to the senses, right? right? So peace, love, and light to everybody chiming in. For for all those who are tuning in, the question is: How many senses are there? What? Uh, how many senses are there? What are the senses and how are these senses tied to us? What sins are these senses tied to? So this is what we elaborate on. So we're in Ecclesiasticus chapter 17. And I'm going to have my, uh, my, my brother, uh, Toriano, read from uh, verse 1. The Lord created man of the earth and turned him into it again. Right. So let's keep that in mind. He created us from the earth. And he turned us into it again. Go ahead. He gave them few days in a short time and power also over the things therein. Come, go ahead. He endured he endued them with strength by themselves and made them according to his image. Right. He endued them with strength by themselves. And made them according to his image. So now the father is creator of every emotion that we have. If not, he, did, he wouldn't say that he's a jealous God, right? right? So then what we feel, how we believe, what we understand, you know what I'm saying, and how we operate with these senses were endowed to us by the father. Keep that in mind. Go ahead. And put the fear of man upon all flesh. And, and put the fear him. of man upon all flesh. Go ahead. And gave him dominion over the over beasts and fowls. Right. So this is a process of creation. Look, I'm creating you. I'm creating man. And I bestow strength within him, physical strength as well as spiritual strength. I gave him order. I gave him instruction, right? Go ahead, verse 5. This is the breakdown. This is the, this is the important part. And everything else after this. Go ahead. They received the use of the five operations of the Lord. Uh, they receive the use of the five operations. Now, these five operations are what? To see, to feel, to hear, to smell, 
And what else? And to is it taste? To see, taste. to hear? Smell. We got smell, taste, see, touch, and... Smell, taste, see, touch, hear. Here. Here. There you go. Yeah. Here. Here. These five senses, these are physical senses that we have to put under subjection to the spirit. All right? Read that one more time. They receive, they receive the use of the five operations of the Lord. Huh. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. Go ahead. And in the seventh, speech. And interpreter of the co cogitations, cogitations thereof. Now see, that's the thing. Understanding the senses. How many senses are there? See, now the other two, he said he gave us the five operations, right? Right. He gave us the five operations. They received the use. Now, when he said they received the use of these five operations, he gave it to us to use, right? right. So that means that we, we only can use it for, for a period of time. Going back up to verse 1, he said he formed man of the earth and turned them into it again. Right. So we are only here to be able to use these operations, use these operations for what, though, for our own personal desires or for the understanding of how to control these operations. Right. right. So he said, so now we see here there are seven senses, five physical, the other two are spiritual. Because it says. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. That's consciousness. Oh, snap. That's the consciousness. Oh, snap. Your conscience going to tell you that's a sense, too. When, you, when, you, when, when your consciousness is telling you, look, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't go that way. Go no, this wrong way. Was right. Yeah. Your right. conscience told you not to eat that. That's a sense, too. That's a sense too. But the seventh the seventh one is the most complicated because it's like um in the sixth place he imparted them understanding and in the seventh speech an interpreter of co uh cogitation thereof. Cogitation is meditation for those who don't know. It's like a form of meditation. You know what I'm saying? So um Intuition. Intuition. So that has to work. In order for that sixth sense to work, you have to apply it. So that's, that's you knowing, having the meditation or that voice in your head, the speech, the voice in your head to actually act on what is right to do. The sixth and the seventh sense work together. Because you can know, like, oh, snap, don't go that way. But you don't go that way. But then you actually making it an action for you to go that way causes you to make the sense uh, active. Causes you to make the sense active. Hallelujah. I was just um, talking about self-control and bringing all things to concern, uh, bringing all things that concern you under subjection. Y'all so good. Ha, ha, hallelujah. So, man, with that being said, we have two to support the five. We have two extra senses to support the five senses, to support them. So when we have these thoughts in our consciousness, but see, when we have these thoughts in our consciousness, we also can read it in the Torah, right? We also can read how to put these, uh, these senses that are, that how to put these senses that have sin attached to them under subjection. Keep going. Right? Verse 6. Counsel and a tongue, and eyes, ears, and a heart, gave he them to understand. Con. So th this is what he's saying. Look, I gave you these senses for your understanding. For your understanding what? How to give in to it? The application of what your intuition is saying. Con. So it's like, I gave you, right, that's the conscious, the higher level of consciousness to apply 
what your intuition is saying. That's that six and seven cents working together. Con, hallelujah. So um, the council, council, which are the instructions. He said, council and a tongue and eyes, ears and a heart gave he them to understand. Gave us, he gave it to us for our understanding how to take control of these entities because they are separate, but they are together, but they're separate because the body is one. You feel me? Uh. So when he said that, when he said they received the use of the five operations of Yahuwah, they we using this. Right. We using it. He gave it to us to use. Look, these are the five operations of the Father. When he created us in his image, he created us in his image in full. To see, to hear, to smell, to feel, to taste, to touch. You know what I'm saying? These are borrowed. We are borrowing these entities or these senses. We are borrowing them. Why are right. we borrowing them? They are borrowed to be a test for us. We wrapped in. See, what's, what's a dead body, bro? Nothing without the spirit. This is how we know that there is a six and a seventh sense operating because the only way that we can put the flesh on this, or the only way that we can control the flesh is through a higher level of consciousness, which is the spirit. But we have to know that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual before anything. But let's keep let's keep going forward. Verse seven. With all, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding. Right. And showed them good and evil. With all, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and showed them good and evil. What's, what, what to do and what not to do? Right. What to do and what not to do? Look, don't give in to the sin. Of, don't, don't fall to the lust of the eyes, nor to the lust of the flesh. You feel what I'm saying? Do yep. not lust. See, with these senses come commandments. The commandments are for the senses. Right. For you to realize that, okay, I have senses that I need to put under subjection because if I don't, I'm going to fall to the lust of the eyes. I'm going to listen to this rap music talking about me killing my brother, and I'm going to embody it. No, you got to know how to put your senses under subjection to righteousness. You see what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. our senses that's being attacked. You know what I'm saying? It's those senses that's being attacked. And then guess what? When those five senses are being attacked, you can never get to six and seven. Because that's a higher level of consciousness. You can never get to the six and seven sense. <laughs> Keep going, out. Verse eight. Mm -hmm. He set his eye upon their hearts that he right. might that he might show them the greatness of his works. Show is just basically show. Show them the greatness of his works. Right? Read it one more time. He set his eye upon their hearts that he might show them the greatness of his works. Right. So how do we, how do we know that when the Father says, he set his eye upon our hearts so he tried our inward parts, right? So that he can show us the greatness of his works. Right. So then if we sin and we receive consequence of repercussion for the sin and it's like we 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 receive consequence of repercussion of the sin. But the only way you can really know that it's the work of the father is if you is if is if you adhere to his word and know and understand that. Dang, I just read it right here. The father told me not to sin and I sinned and I received consequence of repercussion for the sin. We in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and we at verse um Verse 8, it said, he set his eyes upon their heart that he might show them the greatness of his works. The greatness of his works. He showed us the greatness of his works through putting us under subjection to the, to the ill will that we had. Like, dang, Father did say that in his word. And we got to pick that up and receive that. Keep going. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever. Right. That, that they might declare his works with understanding. Man, he gave them to glory in his marvelous works forever that they might declare his works 
with understanding. Are we not declaring the Father's works by understanding that we should put our senses under subjection to righteousness and that our senses have sins? This is one of his marvelous works. Marvelous works. Go ahead. 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Hold on. From that pattern that we just read from 1 down to 10, he said, and the elect, how are you elected? See, it's like tryouts. They're going to line you up and say if you made the team or not. Right. Well, how, how, well, how would you make the team? By performance. See, his elect is going to praise his name because they have performed the duties necessary to be elected. How can I be elected if I'm not those able to control those senses? Perfect. If I'm not trying to control my senses, how am I? He got to be able to pick you from your deeds and your duties. And the elect will praise his name. You got to be picked. But how are you being picked? You picked by your performance. Are you performing properly? Are you doing everything necessary to be a part of the team? Cyrac so, chapter 17, and we read 1 through 10 so far. We in uh, the Apocrypha chapter 17, and we read Come 1 through here. 10 so far. Shalom, sis. So we at verse 11. 11. Mm -hmm. Beside this, he gave them knowledge mm -hmm. and the law of life for an heritage <laughs> he said besides this like okay i lay down i lay down the order i i give i give you the um i give you life and i set your life here right but besides this he gave what this is the life and besides the life he said instructions right mm -hmm. he said besides this he gave them knowledge. Okay, look, this is how you, I'm, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this flesh. I'm going to wrap you in this flesh. Now, look, when I wrap you in this flesh, this is what you got to do. You can't go into the store and buy anything without instructions and know how to put it together. So that's basically what he did. He said, besides this, I gave them knowledge. He said, besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance. So what is, what is an inheritance? Something that you receive for a benefit. Something that was left for you, for you to receive for your benefit. You know what I'm saying? Either, yeah. you, either it's for your benefit or it's for your destruction. What did our ancestors leave us to inherit? Sin. And the consequences thereof. We had to but had they in the laws. Exactly. But had they did what was necessary, we would have been inheriting all the things that came with righteousness and obedience. You know what I'm saying? It said, besides him blessing us with the gift of life, beside him blessing us with the gift of life, this he gave them, beside this he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance for our benefit. The law of life is what? What's the law of life? The Torah. Being able to put Every law into effect so that we can put our what? Sins, our what? Our senses under subjection to righteousness. This is the law. That's the law of life. You know why it's the law? Because he said he gave us five operations. And, and, oper and anything that's an operation, it works. It moves. It's operating. Put it's an use. operation. It's being put to use. You know what I'm saying? And when you put law to the operation, it puts it in order. So it keeps it moving. That's why he said, and he said, besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance so that you can put your, your uh, senses under subjection. Keep going. 12. He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgment. Khan, keep going. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory, and their mm -hmm. ears heard his glorious voice. <laughs> Still talking about the senses. Look, when I gave you these senses, you recognized me first. But then as you grow up and as you go on, you're allowing someone else to uh, infiltrate 
these senses and cause you to go into another another uh spirit or cause you to be entertained by another spirit. He said, look, your eyes saw my majesty and his I uh, eyes saw his majesty and his glory first. And our ears heard heard, you know, and he said our ears heard his glorious voice. Keep going. Fourteen. Yeah, Fourteen. <laughs> and he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. Beware of all unrighteousness. See, that was within themselves first. Look, beware of all unrighteousness. It didn't say the unrighteousness that was within someone else, nor did it say that was within yourself, but all unrighteousness, whether it be in or out of you. Outside influences. Outside influences. Because the outside influences can come in. So that's all around you. Whether it be what you see, what you entertain by or what you're entertaining and what you're causing someone else to see. Because what you do to your neighbor, you do, you know what I'm saying, you do to the father. If you sin against your neighbor, you sin against the father because it's basic, it's basic commandment. Go ahead. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. And every man commandment, and every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Did I not just say that? What you do to your neighbor? You see what I'm saying? What you do to your neighbor? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause like, ch check check it out. That's where the where the saying go. Don't covet thy neighbor's wife. Don't covet. He already telling you. Look, when you lay your eyes on this, don't desire it. It ain't yours. It don't belong to you. Right. <laughs> he gave us commandment for the senses. It, don't oh, kill. Man. It's actually starting <laughs> to hit me. Cause like. Right. <laughs> It all deal with the, the senses that he gave us, and we gotta put that under subjection under law. Come on, I... and his law perfect. Then so it goes into him, Yeah, if mm -hmm. we follow the laws and we put our, our our senses under subjection, then aren't we perfect? If the law is perfect, what? What you said, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's starting to hit me, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gotta see it, man. We gotta we gotta feel it. Shalom, peace, love, and light, Aki. Shalom. Read 15. 15. Their mm -hmm. ways are ever before him and Come. shall not be hid from his eyes. He said, their ways are forever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. He's the creator of these things. You know what I'm saying? He's the creator. So how how can you hide something that he created and established within you? You can't hide it. All you can do is say, look, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's like the boss looking over the shoulder effect. He gonna be right there. What that nigga doing? <laughs> what you doing, bro? You ain't doing it right. Right. See, we don't like that tap on the shoulder and have to look over. Because he might send a brother, he might send Toriano to me and be like, ah, right, you tripping. You can't, you, you got to stay humble. <laughs> a fat con. You got to stay humble, man. Keep going up. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Mm -hmm. Neither could they make to themselves flesh, fleshy hearts for stony. All right, so basically it's in reverse. You give it into evil first. Why? Because if you were given into good or righteousness, you wouldn't understand what evil is or how to come out of it. We have to come out of, we have to come out, we have to, what am I trying to say? <clears throat> we given yeah. into evil first, so we have to come out of, help me out, I. We, I mean, this is what I think you're trying to say. Basically, like we're we're born into this. We're born into evil surrounding us. Just like just like we read earlier, how it's all around us. Beware of the outside influences. So, from the beginning, we have to learn how to come from that. Come yeah, from that man. Evil. Exactly. Exactly. Come from the evil because you are made better when you come from evil. Because our ancestors, right, right, right. So we're made better when we come from evil because our ancestors were bestowed with the blessings and they went from 
good to evil. evil. So it's from evil to good on our end because right. now we have to see all this evil manifest and say that okay, well if you go, we, I'm just going, I'm just going, I'm just going to have you born into evil because if you really want righteousness, you'll come out of it. Right. You'll you'll seek your way. You seek him and find it. You know what I'm saying? And find life. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't have it. Uh, you know? you will uh, seek him and uh, find life. So I understand, you know what I'm saying, the process of, it said, she said, sad, a lot of brothers need this teaching, or at least the ones that I have uh, cross paths with Khan. Khan, because they don't, because we, we know scripture. Yeah, it's just a reminder. Come out of what we were taught from the world, we were born into. Come, come out of what we were taught from the world, we were born into. Come, our uh, praises, man. The that's the, that's the objective. The only way you can be, the only way you can get clean is if you start off dirty first. Right, that's what the art just said. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be dirty before you can be clean. <laughs> like you don't come in clean. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be dirty first. Like how you gonna clean you up? Wash you and make you clean by the by the by the word, you know what I'm saying? So so basically, when he said that in uh in Isaiah one and sixteen, he said, "Wash you and make you clean by the washing of the word." You know what I'm saying? So purging everything, purging these senses, purging these sins from your senses, like knowing that your eye is corrupt. That's when the, uh, when uh, I'm not sure if y'all familiar with that scripture where it say, if your eyes corrupt, pluck it out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If, if your like hands are sin, uh, cut it off. If your hands sin, cut it off. Right. If your eye is corrupt, pluck it out. You know what I'm saying? But was that literally or spiritually? Spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's both literal and spiritual because I won't take nothing or add anything to the word, but it's both yeah. literal yeah. and spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep reading, though, because it's getting good. All right. 17. Mm -hmm. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. Mm -hmm. But Israel is the Lord's portion. <laughs> right. So there should be no ruler over us if we do what is told. See, we, we were set to be kings and priests amongst the nations. So then, therefore... All the nations are both are under subjection to us because right. we know and understand that we are the ones that are to master the uh, the Torah. We're supposed to master it so that we can teach the other nations. That's why we are. That's why we are the father's portion. Nobody can have rulership over us besides the father. But we have to make sure that we are aligned properly and doing the very deed, doing the very deed necessary. And putting all of this under subjection so we did so that we could teach man and the other nations how to do that. But we gotta do it within ourselves first. Keep going. Whom being his firstborn, he nourishes with discipline and giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. Mm -hmm. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and mm -hmm. his eyes are continually upon their ways. Upon their ways. Because we were supposed to be the leader. We led the world into the corruption that is in now because of our disobedience. Right. We were supposed to be there telling the people, continuing to die for righteousness sake so we can find our life. And so that our children and the generations behind us can have life and have it more abundantly. In love and in spirit and in truth. But because of our disobedience, he knows that we led the world astray. Keep going. Is it uh twenty? Twenty? Okay. No, hold on, hold on. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. But the Lord being gracious and knowing his work workmanship, neither left. Hold on, no, no, no. Go back up to twenty. Alright. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him. But <laughs> all their sins are before the Lord. <laughs> None of our, our righteous deeds are here from the Father because He formed us and He knows that these senses are attached to you. How can you hide? Because <laughs> everything is a vibration. I don't have 
everything is a, everything is a vibration. No, I never got them out there. I never had them. Not, not the car key. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it says, none of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's part of the process. It's, it's a part of the five operations that the Father gave you. He gave you these operations to use. What makes you think he don't know how you're using his stuff? <laughs> Like it's almost like it's almost like um like you 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 lend somebody uh your car and then they come back with it with both of the headlights busted out and and and, and it's scratched up messed up you're not using it correctly that's what we gotta do exactly so you mean tell me you gonna bring me my car and then tell me I ain't never had right and my headlight busted out and my and my brake squeaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, come on. Man. This gave me a whole new perspective. Like, like come on. Hold on real quick. All right. You... Yeah. He expected okay. to get it back the same way that he he left it off. To Kanye, so. Uh-uh, don't put don't don't don't. It's my. All right, so man, look. It's it's live, man. Like we gotta continue to live it. Like so, this this is more so like t letting you know, like man, look, pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to what you're doing. Pay attention to the, to the operation. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can see something, and it's like, one of the ox said, I think Desire said, is something was written space in your mind. Something written space in your mind because, you know, um, say, for instance, you have a desire, right? Or you're, you're, you're uh, tempted by this temptation, but you never act on it, right? That's a good thing. Go rent and space in your mind because you still give an idea to it. So this is a test or a lesson to help groom one another. See, when I'm amongst my brothers, man, a lot of things I don't think about. When I'm in a proper facility, when I'm amongst my brother rubbing shoulders in the spirit, in the flesh as well, a lot of things I don't think about. And then if I do, Go off, my brother, to, right there to tell me, like, look, the spirit moving right here, bro. We can't allow you to go off because if you go off, it happened to us all. You know, we reflections of one another. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to let my brother go off because I see that he can't, he can't, some of our, we, we got we to gotta be clear that some of our brothers are not able to battle and put these sisters under subjection themselves. They need help. Right. They can't do it themselves. Help. Okay. I need help. You know what I'm saying? You need help. We need help. We need to help each other because. We battling the 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 higher the higher the higher power the higher mind the state that we can't control. Hold on, now. hold on, hold that thought. Let me turn it back on. Hold on. All right. Yeah. Matter of fact, I can hear you. Right, good. I can hear you right here. I ain't got to put that. All right. Can you good? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Man, we got you, bro. Don't even trip. We got you, bro. We ain't going to let you slip. That's what we're here for. We're here to help each other. At least you can admit it, though. You can hey. admit it. And, we, and, and guess what? Guess what he just did, though, bro? He admitted it. And guess what that does for us? It holds us accountable. The ox said he need help. <laughs> so now you gave me accountability. Because accountability is everything. You have to be accountable for your sins. This is why they say, search your, uh, uh, what is it? About your own soul salvation? Search, search out your own soul salvation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we got to be able to do that for one another. Help each other do that. 
the I say you need help. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be willing to extend that for one another. You know, the whole word don't come back void. And there are deeper understandings and deeper insights that we have to see ourselves in. You know, we got to see ourselves. We have to see ourselves and view ourselves as one another. You know what I'm saying? Like, my brother might be slipping, but I might be able to help him. You know what I'm saying? Two is better than one. Con. So if I'm there, it's like, I think it's in the uh, Amos where it says, where it's hot, where it starts talking about how can two walk together except they be agreed, but it also goes into if one is, um, how can one keep himself warm? At least there'll be two and they can fight the cold weather. You know what I'm saying? So it's about iron sharpening iron. You know what I'm saying? It's about yeah. iron sharpening iron. And that's the that's another thing. When we say that, we mention that in a sense to where, look, I want to sharpen my brother. You know, but we have this terminology that we use and we say, we're going to cut. We're going to cut with the scriptures. See, when you cut, you cut the damage. When you sharpen, you sharpen to make better. Right. You sharpen you to, to, to make it new. Yeah, you sharpen to make, man, like, oh, yeah, look, I'm going to make I'm gonna make sure my eye sharp enough to yield his sword. Iron sharp and iron. But if I'm using the word to cut, I ain't going to do nothing but cause discord and strife and uh corruption, not corruption, but confusion within you. You know what I'm saying? But we have to find a better way to groom each other instead of yielding our sword to the point to where we cutting because cutting damages, sharpening grooms. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Cutting damages, sharpening grooms. But we got to be sh yeah, um, mm -hmm. There's time for everything, you know. When you, when you got to get to a brother because he's being too proud, you got to mm -hmm. tear him back down. Just like how the most high, he, he uses punishments to tear us as a nation down so we can right. be more humble. You know, there's a time for place and everything. Time for cutting and time for healing. Time. Yeah. We are, man, like the sister said, we are, we got. So what we going to do with what we have? We got to build it up. Because if we don't build it up, we ain't going to have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I got to look at my brother and be like, look, man, you got to get right. Because right. we have, we have. And you're a part of this building process. You're a part of this building process. If I don't build you up, I don't build myself up. Then we ain't building the kingdom up. And then we just stuck in the dirt. Because we going back to it again. <laughs> Con, you damage your own soul when you handle it carelessly. Big facts. Let's keep reading, Naki. All right. Um, is it? Is I think we're at 22. 22? I mean, 20, yeah, 20, 21. 21, yeah, yeah. All right. But the Lord being gracious and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. Con, because he knew that these senses were already uh, subject under subjection to temptation as well as them being able to be put under subjection to righteousness. So that's why his mercy is is, is extended because he know that, man, they're going to slip. They're going to slip. But his mercy is extended because he know that these things uh, can cause us to fall into temptation. You know what I'm saying? Huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, keep going, Naki. Keep going. All right, 22. The arms of a man is as great as signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of the eye and give repentance to his sons and daughters. Man, look, let me, let me tell y'all something real quick. It says the arms of a man is as a signet with him. A signet is like a charm. It's like a charm or a stone inside a charm. A, like, say, for instance, like as a ring, right? What did you put a ring on a woman's finger for to marry? So your arms, your prayers are like signatures or signets or, or promises that the Most High recognizes. 
So like, as you put on a, a, a marriage, marriage ring, a promise ring, or a friendship ring, it works. So it's like a contract. Your arms are like contracts. Shalom, peace, love, and light to you, sis. It's like a signet. It's like a contract that binds something together. And this is what he said our arms are. He said the arms of a man is as a signet with him. He said the arms of a man is as, is as a signet with him. And he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of his eye. So our prayers don't go unheard. Our prayers don't, you know, our prayers don't go unheard. And when we pray, we got to make sure that we're praying to the Malachim to take the messages up to the Shamaim so that the Most High can receive. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's important that we have this uh, verbal agreement with the Father or that we talk to him in this way. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. I, I love it. 20, 23. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, he will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads. God. Whether it be for good deeds or bad deeds, you're going to receive reward for all that you do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if, he re if you receive recompense upon your head for good deeds, there's the crown. <laughs> If you receive recompense upon your head for wicked deeds, off with your head. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the, it's 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 real simple. Plain. You know what I'm saying? Uh, twenty-four. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. He granted them return. Hold up. But to them that repent, he granted them return. Your return is granted. The door is open. Repent ye for the kingdom is at hand. He he regret he granted you return for your repentance. That's all you have to do. But see, repentance is an action too. It's not just something that we confess. We know this. We got to continue to teach the people this. See, repentance is an action. It's not just something that we confess. Oh, I repent for my sins. And you continue in sin. No, repentance is, is re repentance is knowing that you did wrong, correcting your wrongs, and not doing it again. So it says. But unto them that repent, not no one else, he granted them return. Not for them that confess, he granted them return, but for them that repent. Because you know what you do when you repent? You put whatever sense that you put whatever sin that was attached to that sense under subjection. You repented, Father, I can't lust no more. Because when I lusted, I fell into uh, temptation and I start to act on these things. But for them that repent, what are you repenting from? You repenting from sin. You repenting from, from sin from what? From the sense that I wasn't able to put under subjection. <laughs> from the from one of the senses that I wasn't able to put under subjection because I allowed it to get to me. Because I can feel. That's real. That's how real it is. I can feel. I can see. She is fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can hear. He did say that. But it could be Hashatan. Oh, I can taste. This crab, this lobster, and this shrimp is good. It is real. Put that flesh under control. <laughs> you got to put it under control, man. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. And comforted those that fail, that failed in patience. You know what I'm saying? Because we can get impatient at times too. That's that's one of the senses that we that that that's uh, atta attached to uh, the sense of feeling. You know what I'm saying? Bang! Because it does something to your flesh on the inside. <laughs> you don't know about which one, Aki. <laughs> but yeah, we fail. Sometimes at patience, but he comfort us, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't get impatient, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his feet and offend less. <laughs> it's simple, man. Keep going, Aki. 
turn again to the most high mm -hmm. turn away from iniquity man this all this from from the beginning to the end it's basically telling you put this under subjection hey yeah but see when i was in the world i could admit i could admit it like but see people would say that now though i they can, they'll admit it now. Like, they'll say it. Like, when you talk to someone worthy, they'll be like, man, ooh, I can't put the lobster there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? It ain't even the lobster. It's the butter. <laughs> that they yeah. dipping it in, bro. It ain't even the lobster. It's the butter. Because you ain't going to eat the lobster without it. <laughs> so they lied to their damn self. You know, but keep going, though. All right. Uh, I'm going to reread it. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell. Come. And, and hate thou abomination vehemently. Vehemently. Keep going. Who right. Shall... <laughs> she said, and the lemon. <laughs> it's the butter and the lemon. <laughs> you know, damn well they wouldn't eat that mess without it. Come on. Who shall <laughs> praise the Most High in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? Hold up. It said, who gonna praise the Most High in the grave? You dead? You dead? Your senses ain't even working no more. I need you fully oper. I need you operating because I gave you these five operations and we received these five operations for what? For the glory of the Father. That was his majesty. Like that was his marvelous work that he gave us for us to be able to understand you know what i'm saying one of his marvelous works that we trying to like look you can't you can't praise the father in the grave like who can it said who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks hold on yeah man it works See, our senses work for him, too. And it should work for him, ultimately. Above all things, it should work. It shouldn't work for nobody else but him. Go ahead. Thanksgiving perishes from the dead. As from one that is not. Huh, Thanksgiving perishes from the dead. And from one, and from one that is not. Go ahead. The living and sound in heart shall praise the Lord. Come. Keep going. How great is the loving kind, kindness of the Lord our God! His compassion unto such as return unto Him in holy, holiness. Hold on, hold on. I, be quiet for me for a second. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Keep you going. Need you need me to reread yeah. it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm, go ahead. All right, 29 again. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord our God and his compassion unto such as return unto him in holiness. Right. Keep going. For, for all things. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, go back up to 27. All right. Who shall praise the most high in the grave instead of them which live in the grave and give thanks, right? Thanks. Who well, he asking oh, right, a question? So, so it's a question imposed right here. Who shall praise the Most High in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? What you giving thanks with? Cause see, when you got passion for the Father, you feel that. When you read His Word, you see that. You see it. When you hear His Word, you feel it. All these senses are attached to one another. So when you so that's how that's how it is even with sin. When you smell, when you smell weed, it makes you feel some type of way. If you if you if you trying to, you know what I'm saying, if you trying to uh stop smoking, if you smell food, your taste buds get the jumping. If you see something, your body get the moving. Your your feelings get the moving. When you hear something, yo, when you hear music, it's like your head get the bug. Right. So you feeling it from the inside. But it's like, who going to praise the Father from the dead except for those who living and giving thanks? So when we hear his word, it moves the spirit. And we start to speak it. We can feel it. 
when we see it, when we reading it, we see it manifest through through different um through different spiritual um algorithms. Cause like my for for, for example today, this is how the spirit moving. My aunt just shared this with me. He was like um I was like talking to him about this specific topic, but we read one through fifteen, and uh, he was like uh. I was just telling him, man, I had asked him the same question. What are the senses? How many senses are there and what sins are attached to these senses? And he was like, uh, man, I was like, oh, he was like, okay, I'm, I'm just going to listen. I, it just edified me real quick. I was like, okay. And that was the question that I posed. And then I was like, all right, let's read Ecclesiastes 17. Shalom, brethren. And then he was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. His wife was just telling him to read Ecclesiastes 17. Hmm. And that was the beauty of it. That's one of those spiritual algorithms that the spirit gonna lead you to where you need to be at, right? For your understanding. Shalom, my Levite. Shalom. You know what I'm saying? So that's like one of those spiritual algorithms that you know that, like, man, like the sixth sense and the seventh sense work together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The sixth sense and the seventh sense work together because it gotta be two. So it's like. You ever seen that? Uh, you ever seen the cartoon where it's one devil on, where it's the devil on your shoulder, then it's an the angel. angel on your shoulder. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's a devil on your shoulder, it's an angel on your shoulder, right? Trying to get you to do something. You know what I'm saying? But what are they working? What are they work? See, what are they working together to do? To either get you to go one way or the other. But. They on your shoulder, so they in your ear. One of them in this ear, the other one in that ear. You know what I'm saying? But the sixth and the seventh sense is something that you have to tap into. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you have to tap into. Because it's here. And that's what the that's what righteousness and uh evil is doing, trying to get you to corrupt your sixth and seventh sense. So that you won't be able to use it. The so delusion. if you do, yeah. So if you do what evil does, you disrupt. But if you do what you disrupt the whole function of the body, if you do what evil does, because you're basically going into sin. But if you do what righteousness or what good is, you make you bring it into light. You bring it into light. Go ahead, 28. So we got to know, hold on. We, we got to know that giving him praise on the upside of living, not on the downside of living, because on the downside of living, you dead. On the upside of living, you are above ground. You know what I'm saying? Giving him praise on the upside of living, because we can't do it in the grave. Because you know why? Because a dead body, the senses of a dead body don't work no more. <laughs> It won't even make sense to say that this dead man going to heaven. But what was his vibration and how did he take care of his senses or what senses did he give into temptation of, you know what I'm saying, why he was here? Because that's energy. Where you go, how you entertain your spirit here, listen, how you entertaining your spirit right now, on a spiritual level, in a spiritual realm, there's light and darkness, whether you're going to go to the light or to the darkness. You grooming, the flesh is for you to groom your spirit. See, we choose whether we're going to go to heaven or hell or not. We grooming our spirit right now. We grooming our spirit right now, wrapped in the flesh. Got to be able to take control. That's why he mentioned, in, the, uh, in, in that's why it was mentioned in Ephesians, spiritual wickedness in high places. Hold up. Where is spiritual wickedness in high places? Where is it? So if it's spiritual wickedness in high places, it's righteousness and spirit, spiritual righteousness in high places as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shalom, so we got to be real careful on how we are uh, grooming our spirit in this flesh. We got to be real careful. We got to be real strong. Because we groom in the spirit right now to go wherever it's going to go. So if my energy right now is 
a corrupt vibe. If I got corrupt vibes, I got corrupt vibes. And as my brother would say, as my brother uh, Saul God would say, energy can't be destroyed, only transferred. Right. It if energy it. can, you see, if energy can't be destroyed and it's only transferred, how the hell this old, how the hell you put wings on a nigga that was corrupt in his life? And say that he going to heaven. Energy only goes where it where it's where it's um the energy only goes where it comes from. You know? But we can't allow certain energies into us. You know what I'm saying? We gotta keep grooming our energy to be prepared for the light of the kingdom. We gotta keep grooming our energy, we gotta keep grooming ourselves and keep grooming our spirit to be prepared for the light. Of the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because right. we can't do, we can't, we can't keep thinking that um when we die, we go to heaven. You know, and I'm just giving my own analogy. But I do strongly believe that the energy that you entertain taints the spirit. So either you're gonna taint your spirit or you're gonna groom your spirit and make your spirit living. Because you can kill it. You know what I'm saying? You can kill it with your actions. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Got to resonate with righteousness. So we, we, we in the process of grooming our spirit. So then with that being said, the flesh is a test. We spirit at the end of the day. Yeah. The flesh is a test. Now, if it's spiritual wickedness in high places, what makes you think the corrupt running around here with your little tool, running around here, you know what I'm saying, with your with your sneaky, conniving ways, ain't no ain't no more corrupt than you? No, nah, that's what they don't understand, bro. It gets more corrupt than you. Right. <laughs> on another level, on a spiritual level, bro, it gets ten times more corrupt than you. Con. Spirit gonna guard you from the flesh and the spirit ain't gonna never lie to you. Let's pass the test, Israel. Man, for real, say that. For we real. gotta pass the test, man. You know what I'm saying? Scripture say we fall on oh, scripture say we fall asleep and receive judgment in the day of resurrection. Say we sleep and receive judgment in the day of resurrection. Hey, when when Scripture say we fall asleep and receive judgment in the day of resurrection. How you gonna fall asleep? What spirit you falling asleep in? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we got right. we just go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And when we re when our spirit is resurrected, what is it gonna be resurrected from? The spirit that we died in, right? Right. You're not so going to be wicked and then wake up righteous. Right. In the king. right. Your spirit died in wickedness. You sleep in there. You sleep in there. Let me hold you right there. Because you got to be judged for everything that you did. Con, keep working, sis. It's a, it's, we, we helping each other work on ours. We a nation. We helping. You know what I'm saying? We 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 here to help each other. Uh, con con man, peace, love, and light, man. I, I appreciate everybody chiming in. And hey, let's finish up this chapter, though. All right. Let's finish up um, the chapter. Twenty twenty nine. Uh huh. All right. How Hold on. Go to twenty eight. All right. Did you read twenty eight already? I did, but I can reread it if you want. Okay, go ahead. All right. Thanksgiving perishes from the dead as from one that is not. The living and sound in heart shall praise the Lord. <laughs> it said Thanksgiving perishes from the dead. Hold up. So you don't have an opportunity to try to give thanks now that you did. It perishes. Right. So all the thanks that you gave, that's all you had to give. If you gave none, you died without giving any. 
Come on, keep going. How great and the, is the, and the living and it said in the living uh it said Thanksgiving perishes from the dead and from one that is not. Um the living and sound in heart shall praise the most high. Go ahead, twenty nine. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord our God, and his mm -hmm. compassion unto such as return unto him in holiness. Kind. For all things cannot be in men, because the Son of Man is not immortal. Right. What is brighter than the sun? Mm -hmm. The light thereof faileth. And flesh and blood will imagine evil. What is brighter than the sun? Mm. Yet the light thereof faileth. Mm. And flesh and blood will imagine evil. This 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 is say, saying something to me like this, man. Like, what is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth. You you ever had that feeling where when the sun shining the day, it been raining all week, but then the sun come out, and you and your spirit change. It's like, man, we're going to have a good day today. Right. They said, what's brighter? Yeah. Like, right. what is brighter than the sun, yet the light thereof faileth? Why? Because it says flesh and blood will imagine evil. Even though we're supposed to be receiving, like how they say we receive vitamin D from the sun. Right. We're supposed to receive positive energy from the sun, too. That's what it gives us when we, when we wake up and when we see it. But if our hearts are imagining evil, and and wickedness and not righteousness, we're gonna uh, we're gonna continue to be under subjection to the flesh, right? You know what I'm saying? So we're supposed to be able to receive that joy that the sun gives because it's obedient. It gives us joy every day. We got to be able to receive the positive energy and the righteous energy from the sun because you know why? Because the sun is obedient to the father. The sun don't rise in the west and set in the east. It does what the order of the father tells it to do. How come you can't receive positive energy or righteousness from the sun? We got to be able to look into the universe and receive understanding too. Because everything in the universe is obedient to the Father. How much more should we look into the universe and receive understanding? If everything in the universe is obedient to the Father, but man. It says, what is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth. How how does the how does the light of the sun fail? If if man man look, if we if we do right, if we understand this if we understand this properly, that when the sun shines, it casts off energy. How much more of that energy is great? Except you be scorched to death, then you would need the clouds. Hold, hold on, y'all ain't hear me right there. If you be the sun is the sun is great, but yet the purpose of the clouds is to protect us from the sun because we our ass can get scorched to death. Now there's joy we can receive from the sun. It's also punishment we can receive from it too. But I'm just speaking on a universal level of how the things in the world operate. This is why everything works together. So if it wasn't for the clouds, we'll be scorched to death because the clouds cover us from the sun. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Well, uh, 31 or 30? Uh, I read 31, but I'll read it again. Okay. What is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine evil. Con. He viewed the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. Con. My blessings to the Father, man, because He's everlasting. He's almighty. He's the creator of all things, man. So once we know Him, we know ourselves. And the more we get to know Him, the more we get to know ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, man, like, let's keep working towards that goal. And being able to be amongst each other, continuing to groom one another. Let's keep working towards that goal, man. Because if I see my brother slipping or falling to a to one of to one of his senses that what that don't make sense, that don't make sense, bro. This is why common sense is so prominent. 
and why it should be more prominent than anything because he gave us law to put ourselves under subjection first so that we could teach the people how to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If you don't do what makes sense, then you operate in you allowing your senses to operate you and you not operate in your senses. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Got to start doing what makes sense. Naturally, the flesh want to do what's contrary to the spirit. Exactly. Just, just what Naturally. Andrew said, if you let your senses control you, they're subject to the flesh because we're in a container. This is our container. Our job is to get back to the most high using in spirit and in truth so then we can put our uh, senses into subjection right right we got to man say that one more time Aki. you want me to say it again yeah say it one more time um go say it the best way you know how because now most yeah. of the time we speak from the spirit and you yeah. can't repeat what the spirit says sometimes so you know um, what I'm saying um, the way we'll have dominion over our spirit and not letting our, I mean, uh, of our, our, um, our senses. Mm -hmm. If we allow our senses to control us, then we're subject to the flesh and the flesh is contrary to the spirit. Right, and right. If right. we get in touch with the most high in the spirit and spirit and the truth, and we try and follow these commandments, then naturally in line, our senses will fall in line and they'll go with the movement of the spirit, the vibration of the spirit instead of the flesh. Right, 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 right. Because that's, that's how it works. It's like, it's basically like knowing what right from wrong. You know what I'm saying? Staying upon the lines of knowing right from wrong. It's like, uh, it's like this. If you're walking down the street, you know it's straight dog down the street, ready to bite something. You're going right. to keep walking down. You're going to walk down the street anyway. See, the path is already set. That's what they don't understand. The path is already set. You know, if you walk down the street, you're going to get your head beat. Right. If you walk down the, if you walk down the other street, they ain't got nothing but flowers. You're going to smell flowers, and it's going to be a pleasant smell to you. That's the same way with righteousness and wickedness. If you go down that road, you're going to receive it. See, the most I don't never direct you down that way. He always points you into the, the way of righteousness because that's what Torah does. He points you into the direction in which you should go. He's telling you to go this way. You know what I'm saying? So you can't blame the Father for the direction that you took. Right. Let me, let me read some of these comments. I keep you loving light. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all coming on and building with the eye. And I'm man. All praises to the Father. Um, what she said. <laughs> this is the scene, which is why he's always trying to block out the sun. <laughs> the connection of y'all word is never this of today. For real, for real, all praises to the most high being on the mat, the water. All praises up to the most high for allowing him to uh, pass his move out through so that we can deliver the word from him. It's his word. It's his truth. I said you want to sharp. Most definitely we can jump we can uh, we can we can chop some up. Matter of fact, I'm gonna chop up uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna hit your inbox out because I wanna put it I wanna put some structure to it. And we probably can uh, jump on and go over like eighteen later. So yeah, all right, so that's we're gonna do another portion. We're gonna do another we're gonna do another segment and we're gonna jump on eighteen. Uh out of the book of Ecclesiasticus. So y'all just go read it. And I want y'all to elaborate and share the understanding that y'all receive too because I know that, you know, from my analysis, what I see is just one dimension, you know. But with y'all here and y'all chiming in and sharing, y'all understand it, but we can make it, you know what I'm saying, multi-dimensional, you know, with the thought process and the understanding of what he's saying, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, I'm, I'm vulnerable, you know what I'm saying. I've been walking this walk out for 10 to 12 years. I'm still growing. You know what I'm saying? I'm still willing to learn. I've learned from people who've been in the wrong for a year. Because Fever, I, I, the Fever, they can't hear you. I'm saying that? They can't hear you. They, uh, it's... Can you hear me now? 
It's like it sounds distorted to them. I hear it too. You can hear me. You hear me now? I I can hear you, but you sound distorted. Like, do do you have your net? All right. I got something for him. Yeah, we we can hear you now. You can hear me now. Yeah, I hear you perfectly now. See, see, they can't stop it, man. I I, I already know how they frequencies work. <laughs> yeah, it did sound demonic. It was crazy. Yeah, I already know how they frequencies work. But uh, yeah, no, what I was saying was, like, uh, we can jump on. And uh, elaborate on 18. So I wanted the, the brothers and the sisters to mind just keep reading, keep going into, you know what I'm saying, um, keep going into these chapters of the Apocrypha so that we can, you know what I'm saying, continue to keep keep ourselves grown. You know, uh, I want y'all insight too because my insight is just one dimension. But with y'all insight along with it, we can help continue to groom each other and make a, a and, and keep the uh concepts multi-dimensional because his word is six seven four it's greater it's above our understanding right. Right. But let's continue to put our heads together and um help each other with this walk man because like the sister said that she's uh trying to put her spirit <laughs> she's trying to continue to groom her spirit you know what i'm saying that we're supposed to be able to help each other with that task you know what i'm saying um we have a lot of our brothers falling to the wayside because of you know what i'm saying um we have a lot of brothers falling to the wayside because they don't have brotherhood to hold them accountable. We need more accountability amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was around brothers, I, I, I became strong enough not to fall to temptation even when I'm around brothers or not. But when I was around brothers, I realized like half of the temptations that I had been uh, introduced to since I moved from Cali to Memphis, I wasn't dealing with those temptations in California because it was just straight. Like, oh, I'm with the brothers every day. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm with Akeem every day. Like, oh, yeah, we chopping up scripts every day. But from Cali to Memphis, I was left to myself, and I was realizing, like, dang, the people are different. The energy is different. It's different. You know what I'm saying? The Let me tell you. And my wife knows. I tell her this all the time. It's like, I, I came back to Memphis. I was like, baby, I ain't never seen this many beautiful black women a day in my life. I, I was culture shocked because it was like, I'm from Memphis. And I was like, it was the norm for me. But when I moved to California, stayed out there three years and came back, I really realized, you know what I'm saying? Because my wife from Memphis is she gorgeous as hell. And I'm like, dang, that's just the energy out here. But I was like, man, like, that's crazy, cause I haven't really been fit. I haven't like looked at a woman and said like, "Dang, she fine." I ain't did that. I don't know how long, but I told my wife I was letting her know like, "Ain't no, ain't no women." I've never been to a place where the women are just beautiful in abundance like that. So I was like, "Man, that's a good, that's a good fight," because my flesh never moves, but I gotta stop allowing these things to rent space in my mind. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. The, the conscious side is working. It's working, but we got to stop. Even though even though the spirit, uh, we know that it's working because the flesh is not moving on any of these um, temptations. So when the flesh don't move on these temptations, you know that the consciousness is working. But we got to get to a point to where it don't rip space in our mind. That's where the meditation comes in. You know what I'm saying? That's where the meditation comes in. So with seven senses. You know what I'm saying? And that seven sense helped you to keep it out of your mind. See, the sixth sense causes you to re react from the conscious state, but the seven sense helps you push it out of your mind. See, that sixth sense is like your understanding. I'm going to, oh, I know right from wrong, but that seven sense helps you push it out. You know what I'm saying? And help clear your mind. That's why it's uh, cogitation, meditation. You know what I'm saying? It helps you push it out. You feel me? You know, so when we don't move on it, we got to, you know. Look what Desire posted. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> what you said, ah? Seven senses versus seven scenes. So I said, that's because um, I'm not sure if I'm following you a piece of harmony. I'm not sure if I'm following you, sis, but I'm not sure if you're, yeah. Hold on. 
Man. Look, man. That was Hundreds, deep. Right? Seven sins versus seven. Hey, seven senses versus seven Come on, man. It's, it said, that's because we are in a human form. Although we are spiritual beings, all praises to the most high. Con. Con. Yep. Good versus evil. <laughs> you know, so it's seven, seven, the seven senses versus the seven sins. Then you got the seven spirits, the seven candlesticks. You know what I'm saying? The seven, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, the seven angels that the Father deals with. You know, so um, yeah, it said that's why we have to guard all our gates. Kind, perfect. Hey. Well, we gotta guard all of them. I'm a like, cause I'm starting to think about. It. I'm like, man. I'm the most highest temple. I got to realize, because I start to realize, like, like even music, like, subconsciously you end up thinking something or doing something, even mm-hmm. though it's not to the full extent, but Shut you're still about. thinking it or doing something whenever you listen to music <laughs> that brings forth corruption. Right, right. I need to stop. I'm, I'm deleting my whole playlist after this. I gotta start over. The ox, <laughs> the ox said it's seven people long. <laughs> Did he put oh, his two forty seven? That's crazy. <laughs> man, look, come on, man. Ain't seven um completion? Yeah, the set, the number seven is the number of completion. She said, "Be girded in the whole armor of the Most High." Hmm. How many yeah. pieces of armor is it? Ugh. See, she just she just made me think of something. Well, let me flip. I'm going to come back to that. I'm, I asked that question for myself. Not to throw it out there as if I know. But how many pieces of armor is it? Could there be seven pieces of armor? I'm about to flip to it. Let me see. Ephesians chapter 6. How many pieces of armor is it? She said she believed it's seven or eight. I know it's the grace <laughs> plate. Man, look, if it's, if it's seven pieces of armor, I'm jumping back on. Look. No. Come on. Hold on. It said put on the whole armor, 6 and 11. It said put on the whole armor of Yahuwah, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know? Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the of Yahuwah, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded with truth, and having on the blessed breastplate of righteousness, your feet shoved with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be a, where, uh, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword, which is the word. Hold on, take the hold on. Ooh. What? That's six. We had six. Yeah, and then there's the... It said... You get the, the loins. You get the loins. Yeah, I did. I did that one. Oh, you did Hold that. On. It said, and take the helmet of salvation and... Right. Take the helmet of salvation, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of right. the Spirit, which is the word of the Most High. Praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication of all saints. Hold on. So praying will actually consist of the seventh sense. Right. It is. Seven. It's seven. So it's almost like wow. it's almost like the maintenance of the armor, which also goes into the armor, is prayer. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. 
That's deep, though. Hey, but look, Facebook just said I got 24 seconds to get out, man. Look, we gonna, I'm going to start another one. Look, y'all read 18. Look, read 18. We're going to jump.